And I was like, girl, don't do it if you don't feel called to doing it. You don't want to mess with something. Like you're opening up a portal. And if your energy is like scared and like worried, you don't want to be messing with that. She didn't listen to me and she started using my card when I wasn't there and I didn't know. And when I came in... Um, Rule number one. Right. And when... Oh, she, you caught her in that? It, it wasn't even that. We had... Uh, we started hearing knockings on our on the door and no one else was in the house. Yo, it's your boy Mr. B, aka Mr. B Spoke. And we are Trap and Ties with another Spoke. Special, very special episode. Very special, very special. And we are joined by the man on the left to me. Easy, I'm slash I'm easy. And the man further left to me. Mo Pally. Just keep changing your name. MEP. <laughs> and today we've got a very special guest in the house. Very, very special. special. She's come all the way from the moon. <laughs> hey, yes. We're going to speak on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you like it? <laughs> we got, got Kyra Moon! <laughs> I'm clapping for you guys. So what you guys been up to, man? I know it. it's been a... <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean bad for saying it, but yeah. What have you guys been up I've to? I've been going to a lot of cash recently. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, talk to us actually. We can actually go and talk about it at some point. What is your What is your problem against white cash? White it's people not white, Look, I'm not being racist or whatever, or we'll call it what you may. For me, I like to go to cafes where it's authentic and it's not like played on. Not gentrified. Is your word? Yeah, that's the word. Cause look, hear me out. When I was growing up, I never really saw a lot of like white orientated calves. You never saw Ro Rose I in saw, the Hill. I saw, I saw them ones, them like ones. the full English and all that. But I never saw people going, "Oh, give me avocado on toast and give me some yeah. falafel yeah. and stuff like that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had falafel and I went to Egypt with Jonathan and all that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, come on, like, so when I go to these calves, give it to me raw, give it to me uncut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not some soy shit latte, or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real milk. milk yeah, yeah, yeah. None of that other bullshit. What did you think of the brunch place? It was decent. Because it was real. That was real authentic Turkish calf. That's what it was. Okay. And you saw working class people. <laughs> you see it? No, it's French. You, no, you, you saw, saw, you you saw working class people mm -hmm. that go there who have a right to go there, yeah? But when, no, no, no. but when you see people that got a net worth of like five million sitting in that place, like what are you doing here? Like you know this is not your your, 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 your jurisdiction. Do you go to no, 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 Pakistan or these nice places? Yeah. What do they get asked for? A dress code, yeah? Yeah. So that you they already want a certain type of people coming to their restaurants to eat. Yeah. Why can't cafes demand the same thing? Brother. <laughs> if you come to my cafe, if you come to my cafe, if you come to my I better see fucking workwear, shoes, still toe boots. I need to see that shit. Yeah. Uh, you're not coming to me with your fucking. An Abercrombie uh, Fitch. Uh, nah, I don't want to yeah, see that yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Did your sage prepare you for this? I had yeah, to. Yeah. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, making sure I was good and cleansed. So, Cairo, tell us about yourself. Obviously, as we know you, you know you do various things. So, tell us, what do you, what is it you do? Why you do it? Um, and things like that okay so i do tiktok and i make spiritual and tarot reading videos okay <clears throat> i feel like i have to clear my throat now no, no, no. um yeah and i'm into astrology and the universe and just someone is ignorant me i'm gonna take that as witchcraft <laughs> like that's why i don't like instantly and think can, yeah. no but that's why like, oh, you I can don't... I was going to say, yeah, I feel you'd be quite defensive about it. Depends that. on... If it's just another word for, like, trying to understand what it is that's happening. It's all kind of witchcraft. Like, the idea of manifestation, for so example. So you're a witch? <laughs> yeah. Are you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, shit. Um, uh, I'd like to think so, because I'm obsessed with Harry Potter, but... Um, oh, no. No, that's a top Everyone's, five everyone's like, time. that explains yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the energy. Well, what got you into it? Yeah. Oh, I've been to um, tarot reading for a while. Um, I was just so fascinated. I started reading up on the law of attraction and getting more focused into spirituality. I read like the Bible, the Bhagavad Gita, um, the Quran, and I was just trying. And witchcraft to... came on top of all of this. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I was just trying to find and discover like the more spiritual side to things, and it all kind of just resonated with love and oneness. Um, and I kind of got into tarot readings because I just saw it a few times and I was like, oh, that's so interesting. Like, I feel really cool to to study it and learn it and understand it. And yeah, and now I do it. I was associated with like evil and like curses and spells. I don't associate with love. And stuff. Yeah, like, that's I what I always think when someone says witch, I don't think, oh. It has a more positive image. That's me. what I get. Yeah, I've never heard of 
Yeah. What are the what are the, what are the common myths that are not true about um, being a witch? Right. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think it's that black and white, and I don't think it's that simple. Or I th- I think there's so many different levels and depths and different areas. Um, I like to stay more in. Oh, it's so weird to put it like this, just openly, but like light magic. But that oh, being, oh, you do you you see, do light magic. Is, Have you ever put a spell magic. on someone? No. When you're saying light magic, right, I'm thinking big, like, grand scheme of things. I'm thinking, like, David Blaine and, uh, what's the guy's name? Darren uh, Brown. Maestro. And, oh. uh, yeah, Darren Brown. I'm thinking of those guys. That's, and then when you, so when you say light magic, I'm thinking, what are you talking about? Card tricks? Like, what are you, <laughs> like, what does it? Um, no. Um, <laughs> so, okay, let me explain how I do, like, readings, for example. Yeah, yeah. So, we're all energy, right, okay, yeah. scientifically. Like, we are all energetical beings. Well, vibration. And exactly. And basically, what I'm doing through the cards is connecting and communicating through the vibe, the energy, to you. Yeah. It's kind of like a tool. Like, even using a phone. You see how people use a phone and I can use the device to talk to you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm using the cards to transmute the energy and understand the path and the journey that you're going on and like that what what like what energy do you get from us oh good vibes really really yeah no it's good but then you have to have a bit of evil with me (laughs) you don't have you look (laughs) you don't look tired but you you have this tired energy of like um, lazy no, no, it's not laziness. It's not laziness. Like exhausted, like exhausted, like exhausted. <laughs> exhausted, like um, there might be something going on, or like um, in the back of your head, or um. See, this is what I don't like about the Mystic Meg thing because it seems very generic. Like it seems like it can be like <laughs> everyone's got everyone, like, yeah. yeah, so everyone's got something going on. That's what I right, but, but no, no, but you're you're picking up on my. You're asking me about my personal yeah, no, life. Okay, yeah, okay, let me do that. Yeah, sorry, no, sorry, no, sorry. No, no, yeah, no, not even like that. So I this mean, guy, this guy, he's going through shit. Yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I hate what you're saying because that could have been said to all of us, and we could have all agreed. Been like, oh yeah, yeah. like really, if you relate it to yeah. something, right? No, but I'm just saying. I thought you were just asking in general. Yeah, no, 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 do, yeah, do, yeah, no, do. Sorry, but I it's different if I use my car. We're gonna use the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right. not. I don't claim to be psychic. I'm an intuitive reader. I I use intuition. What about Mr. EZM? Just on my personal yeah, 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 Okay, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a difference. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, when you're like kind of just sussing out the vibe yourself or like you're trying to like understand first and then you put your own. Yeah, yeah, what do you feel of me, yo? Make it long. <laughs> you know, you got, you, got, you got to make yourself look good before you say it. You know what I mean? You got to make it sound. Yeah, you got to like, you got to. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> um, Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> um, you are a you give me people pleaser vibes <laughs> <laughs> wow okay so i'm not sure <laughs> that's a whole I'm, ne- I'm never had, i haven't had that being said to me in about that was so like, five years right. but that's good fantastic oh. well it's not good no, he's a very good given person to be fair he's a very good given person he's like, very he's like yeah yeah he's very accommodating um, yeah. 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 No, 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 it hasn't hurt it's okay no, no, no. question if i do what you do does that make me a wizard if, if you want it, because no, like, 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 I never hear of a young wizard, bro. I, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear the witch thing a lot. But I never hear the wizard thing. Do you have a cat? No. I thought like you should have a cat. I would. I, I actually done my research to find out my um, was it moon, sun, and rising. So you can guess oh, our. Wow. Yeah. So you can guess our who you think we are, and then I can tell you if you're right or wrong. Okay. Oh no, the pressure. Okay, how how much money are we putting on this? What that she gets it wrong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh you're giving me Gemini energy. You're never gonna guess mine, you will never. No one ever guesses it. Aquarius. Right. Oh, my <laughs> Oh I mean maybe. <laughs> um I'm torn between Sag or Leo. What? You think he's a Sag or a Leo? I'm going to tell you a fun story, right? It's a true <laughs> story, right? So back in the day, right? Mm. 
uh, when I was young, very single. My had game used to be, cult. I used to go out to girls and be like, oh, what's your star sign? So I done my research and yeah. I was like, yo, listen, I'm going to work out my star sign. And I came across this graph, right? Your, co your compatibility, your sex and your communication, right? Mm. So I'd ask the girl what star sign she is. Or I'd try and guess it, right? For bands, right? Yeah. If I got it right, and or if I got it wrong, either way, she'll guess it. And if it suited me, I'd be like, oh my God, look at us. We're made for each other. She's gassed. If she wasn't, if she wasn't matched to any of this, I'm like, just carry on. Yeah, star signs are really interested. So that was you, like, you see the dedication <laughs> to the game of getting girls, yeah? There's nothing like it. And they just basically <laughs> eat like it, it up. <laughs> they but, it work. But it's become very popular now. So I don't know if it's a, it's a clout thing or whatever. But it's really like taken off now where people really give it that input. I'm very anti it in terms of, I think it's a load of baloney, isn't it? Mm. Just because I could meet two people with the same star signs and they're giving me totally different personalities. So I don't understand how it works. We've spoken about this, yeah. isn't it? Taurus. <laughs> You're a Taurus. Am I just jumping in and out of star signs at this point? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm no. joking. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I get that. And I appreciate that opinion. I What I did was instead of doing research online, because it was very much like astrology.com or Horace, no, hey, like, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it was just very generic Google answers. Um, when I was in school, I would ask everyone what their star sign was because I was so interested in it. And then I started to understand the energies of every, like the yeah. correlations between the energies. Yeah. And that's how I kind of pick up on people's star signs or that's how I get to know them. What are your star signs, <laughs> by the way? You got mine right. I'm a, a chorus. So I'm Capricorn. I am an Aries. Oh yeah, yeah, you saw. Yeah. My sun is an Aries. My moon is a Libra. And my you... rising is a Virgo. When, when you say you're spiritual, does that mean there's element of religion in there as well? Or... Mm -hmm. So so w what would you say your religion is? It's is a it mix called? of everything, I guess. Yeah. I appreciate all different cultures and all different religions. And I studied up on different religious books, like I said. And it made me realize like the main focus and the main aim for all of these religious texts were to have oneness and to recognize oneness and to be on the love vibration. But wouldn't, wouldn't all these like, because the current trend is obviously self-improvement books and self-help books. That's kind of a lot of them are about on the spiritual element, aren't they? And you believe in manifesting, right? Yeah. Like really strongly, right? Yes, I do. And I think you, I've been trying to ask, I've, I've tweeted this a few times, I'm going to try and word it properly. Mm. People tell you to speak into existence, but then people also tell you that actions speak louder than words, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're speaking, so my, my question is to you, is like, what, because they say don't talk about your success until it happens kind of thing. Mm. So which, which, which one do you weigh up? So do we talk into existence to make it happen, or do we just work hard and graft up until something happens i've because i've said you believe in karma i believe absolutely yeah can you see the contradiction there absolutely oh, i'm not piers morgan <laughs> <laughs> no, but i bet, I, I bet I when you watched it's... our tiktok clips you didn't think we we're gonna ask questions like that, i was you? expecting <laughs> like some oh uh, yeah i didn't think it was gonna go so harsh on the spirituality but i'm here for it um i personally believe it's uh, a yeah. mixture of both i think for me spirituality is kind of like a duality um the recognize what I've recognized about the universe is everything has an up down left right yin yang you know it's balanced without one you can't have the other like it's kind of like in order for something to work like even double a batteries you have yeah. the positive charge and the negative yeah you need both in order for it to Star, actually yeah, work yeah. right and that's how we exist and coexist <clears throat> so actions and um, speaking it into existence what I've learned is from both sides. You've got to, when you can't just manifest, I'm sorry, but like anyone encouraging just to let it go, speak it into existence and, ex and expect it to like fall out the sky. Like it's not going to happen like that. Actions, you have to put action behind it. And that's part of manifesting. That's true part of manifesting. It's understanding that this is mine. I am going to stay in this vibration of knowing it's mine. I am going to speak it into existence by saying it to myself, like, and believe in it as well believing exactly like <laughs> speak believe receive exactly and then i'm going to put action behind it i'm going to take every step i can think of that i can do at this time to go closer and closer to the goal and by doing that it's kind of just understanding that you are capable of doing anything that you put your mind to and that's manifesting but i think my, my sorry but this is this is obviously personal when i when 
like, when I bought my property, right? Yeah. My initially it was I was just speaking to everyone. I was saying to them, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, mm. I'm gonna do this. Got to the point where people are like, okay, it's not gonna happen, kind of thing, right? That's, but then I went, then it fell through. So I went silent, mm. and the next thing I know, I didn't speak into his existence with people, but it did happen. But what did you just say? You said, what did they say? It's not gonna happen. They didn't say it's not gonna happen. But I think they, you they just felt it. Yeah, right? you, you psychologically think, they, oh, okay, this, this, boy, you've been talking about this for that's fucking long time. That's co manifesting. That's, that's co manifesting. That's like when people put out on social media their relationships and like they put posts and then people think, oh, it's gonna last two months, wait. Mm. Just watch in two months, yeah. they're gonna break up. <clears throat> and they do, and they go, oh. told you, because mm. they believed it so much. They are. Vibrate. They are tapping so into you. So you can share it your manifestation. Evil, but it's like co-manifesting it. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. we're all co-create. Like we are all one. Ma- all, we all manifest. We can all manifest. Mm-hmm. So, so if you so. doubt someone so much, <clears throat> you actually you're technically manifesting for them to fail. Yeah, yeah that's, it is, that's, that's kind evil, of like what evil it? eye is. Yeah, it's that's like. Evil, isn't it? Yeah, yeah evil I think eye. what you're saying. I think most religions preach that as well. This manifesting. Yeah, well. yeah. It's that. It's that whole thing. You could do a prayer, for instance, say, "I want to be rich." But it doesn't mean God's gonna yeah, make yeah. you. He said, "I'll give you the tools to go and yeah. achieve what you want to achieve." Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's it's similar to the thing. The only thing I'd say to that is, if you look at the Bible, Quran, Taurus, a lot of them do believe what it says. Magic is sin. So, especially in, so I'm Muslim. So we always think anyone that associates with uh, mind reading or looking into the future or whatever that's the only sin in our religion that is mm. not um, forgiven mm. so you could there's so many sins that someone can do that's Muslim they always, so God is forgiven that sin, is, uh, that sin especially is not forgiven so if if you as a Muslim partake in any sort of black magic or magic in any sort or mind reading or anything like that that's the one thing that God will never forgive you about I don't know yeah. if you've heard that before or not. No, I've heard that. Um, so, I just think. So you're saying she's got hell? No, I, look, I'm not. Because look, 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 I'm just asking a question. My, my, my aunties and that, that we still have, we still have like, these old rituals where, uh, um, what are they called? Old when, wife tells. Like yeah, those ones where you you, you shouldn't you, hold you shouldn't if you hold this certain with your left hand, whatever. It's, it's bad luck, or if you do that, it's the, the it's we luck. still have that embedded in us. But, like, do, you, but do you do things for good luck? Me? Yeah. Like, if... Or do people... I, yeah, that's the thing. So, I don't believe in... I believe... I don't believe I could do things to have, make me have good luck. I don't... I believe that if I say a prayer, <laughs> that it will... Um, it might benefit me. Mm. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to solely believe that if I do this prayer every day, that it's going to... I'm not going to put all my energy into that prayer. I don't think that's how the way life works. Right. No, but when you when you kick sorry when you kick the ball yeah mm. is there a certain football sock you put on first a certain oh that's my superstitious yeah, yeah I was definitely superstitious, that's superstitious yeah, right? yeah yeah I'm superstitious mm-hmm. yeah yeah so I would like say luck I'm not, or not. for like that's that's haram though right yeah I I don't believe in it yeah that's what I was wondering if it was haram mm. or not I was wondering that's if that's what you are okay um but even a prayer to me that's magic or like maybe i'm using the wrong word yeah or maybe we're just we have different definitions of mm. the word because when i think of magic i think it's literally <laughs> spells cast no. like well that, i don't, I don't yeah. partake in that yeah. personally i know people do yeah and that's what i'm saying like the universe is split into duality there is up down left right good bad like negative positive right so i don't do like dark stuff i tap into light and when I pick up on energies, it's always for like helping people along their paths, like just having clairvoyance or having clarity so they understand, okay, this is what's happening. I'm communicating what's going on by picking up on the energy and you do whatever you wish to do with that. I'm not going to put some love spell on any, I don't, I don't F with that. Like I don't ride with that. I don't do spell work yeah. or. No, no one's ever pissed you off like, do you know what? No. <laughs> Let me get because one of them voodoo goals. Because I believe in karma. <sighs> do, you want, do, you, do you want to do the tarot card thing? Yeah, I was going to say. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Moving to oh, the God. Next section. Why, why are you saying all oh, good? On camera. Okay, that's fine. Do do what, something, is like the camera's going to like, like bug out and that? Wait, wait, wait. No, <laughs> no wait, wait, wait. Is this like some, <laughs> is this like, like some Ouija board shit? Okay, let me tell you a story. It's going to get kind of spooky. Oh. So, um, I was living in my old place and I had a roommate and she is muslim and she was really interested in tarot okay 
Um, but she also was very like, this is super haram. Like, I can't do this. That's like, worse than eating pork. Yeah, a good type of thing. And she like was always wondering whether or not she should do it or use it because we were really close at this point. We we're like best friends. And I was like, girl, don't do it if you don't feel called to doing it. You don't want to mess with something. Like you're opening up a portal. And if your energy is like scared and like worried, you don't want to be messing with that. She didn't listen to me and she started using my card when I wasn't there and I didn't know. And when I came in... Um, Rule number one. Right. And when... Are you <laughs> caught in that? It, it wasn't even that. We had... Uh, we started hearing knockings on, our, on the door and no one else was in the house. Then we started hearing footsteps running up and down like the stairs in the house. And then we had our candle, like my candle was lit in my room, it was my room. And my candle was lit on the table. And I'm telling you now, it was something, I don't even know how to describe it, it was like a blowtorch. Like it just turned into this huge fire yeah. that like almost reached the ceiling. Like from a candle. Like it was one of those like Yankee kind of candles, yeah, like yeah, that yeah. size, but it, it's like flaming. Like I had to pour water on it and it like almost exploded at you the put same water time. water on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Never do that. <laughs> okay, go. Then that exploded mm. and almost burnt, blew up my face. But I'm, yeah. Spider-Man like that, so. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, and it was just, it was really intense. And we just kept getting like a lot of par paranormal activity. So that's when I had to say, and I, I guess it's a spell, but like a cleanse of protection and just making sure that we are protected. And then she did also put some um, Quran readings mm. of uh, music and wow, she really things, wanted like, it, didn't she? Yeah, like taking, wow. like going. Yeah, it was, it was like, it was, it was a really negative energy. So you, so, to, so she brought back the like the exorcist or something. Yeah, yeah it was like we had to. Ex well, I had to exercise right? the house. Literally. You, you had to exercise the house. Yeah. Oh my damn. Am I still friends with her? No. Fuck no. No, fuck no. Yeah. <laughs> you just brought a ghost into my house. <laughs> Why am I wait, wait, friends with you? So you're saying you have to be trained to use that. And what did she do I'm exactly for for her? What did she do? Like play with them or like? Yeah, she kept art. She was so obsessed with it, and she kept asking like a lot of questions, like, "Oh, is this going to happen?" Yeah. And this, like, she was really, which you know, we're both into, and that's all fun and la la la. But it's like, though, isn't if you it? don't know exactly, but if you don't, especially when you first yeah, use them, because yeah, yeah. you get to know what's gonna happen. But if you don't protect your energy, and if you're going in feeling like this is like devilish and haram and like negative, and then yeah, you're yeah, attracting yeah. that through opening a portal, you don't want to be doing that. I'm on that same wavelength as that girl. I don't give I'll rather wait outside, let you lot finish and come back in. Oh, shut up. No, no, I'm, honestly, I'm shit myself. <laughs> like, so, can you just start? I did want to say No, well. I'm telling you now. Like, okay. I'm shitting myself. Why? Can you start? Yeah, just, I just, I feel... It's just, okay. it's a... It's I hate you. I hate you. Okay, that's you. fair enough. That's fair enough. I don't want to open up that portal that you said. No, that's fair enough and I completely respect that. If he wants to leave... So, all right, I'll wait outside and just knock when you're done. I'm being real, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying I, that only happened because she was playing with it. Yeah, and she was playing with it. She's trained, man. Yeah. I, can... I need to see certificates. Alright, guys, do not try <laughs> I need guys, to see guys, your MVQ2 level. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, like, I need to get the distinction. I need to get in. Like, <laughs> mm, that's okay. You, if you want to stay Yeah, I'll wait outside. Let me know what you're done. Have some fresh air. Are you joking? Are you serious? I thought he was joking. I hope you all the best. Just not when you're done. I thought you were fine. Okay, what would you like to know? Oh, yeah, what you said about the. I have a few goals that I want to hit. Career wise? Huh? Career wise? Career and personal. Okay. It's gonna be you know what's going on in 2023, isn't it? If he dies, you know what I'm going But I'm not gonna start saying I'll pick a card because yeah. you're all gonna leave yeah. at this point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Is that positive? <laughs> yeah, no, it's not that. It's just um, I'm, I want to get just a real quick clarification on this Queen of Cups energy. Are you in a relationship currently? Yeah. Okay. I'm regretting this. <laughs> <laughs> no, because this card looks dark. <laughs> this um, oh, I feel like in a way you've had to give up some things or you haven't gone down specific paths because of this relationship it's almost been like not sacrifice but like do you know what i mean like a in it's like a compromise um you've you've held back from where you're meant to be going and 
it has been to help this relationship like putting that first yeah, prioritizing yeah. okay words are coming out of my mouth now good um and there's been ju with judgment in reverse the judgment card in reverse it's like a um there's still something waiting to happen i'm ready <sighs> there are some stresses that are popping up um pressures it feels like a lot of pressure four swords energy um it's like there's some worries here there's some worries about if this is long lasting okay but i feel like a lot of the hard work is over like the message is like i feel like a lot of the hard work is over and you are stepping into true emotional happiness and it can be easy and it can be and it can continuously go like that. Hey, round of applause. Yeah, no, that was really good. That was really good. That was really good. That was interesting. Never done that before. So yeah, that's like, obviously you've got another side of you um, in which you do, which has obviously allowed you to rack up 147,000 followers on TikTok. Um, obviously you deal with the, you sort of do public interviews and things of that nature like, how did that come about like tell us the fun side of it tell us the bad side of it <coughs> yeah no that's been super fun it was um quite cool meeting some people who were already on the public interviewing scene and i just i, I don't know i vibed with it and i got some good advice saying that you can branch out and kind of do like what you're passionate about still and incorporate spirituality yeah. um to the videos and that's where I just thought it would be fun to get people's opinions on star signs because I know it's a fun conversation topic. And Yeah. Your, your, yeah. your two main ask questions are best star sign in bed, which you've never answered. They never asked you. But off your experience, what's the best star sign in bed? Um, Capricorn's got to be up there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mid. <laughs> Um, Quick. I haven't, I haven't had the pleasure. I'm going to say this. I haven't had the pleasure of trying out all the flavors of star signs. Um, There's twelve, right? Yeah. Just. I don't know. Um, who, who, was, who was really good? Who was really good? Jonathan. <laughs> Steve. Who <laughs> was really good? Ahmed. <laughs> I don't know who these people are. Disclaimer. Guys, are just shitting men in general. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What do you think is the most toxic uh, star sign? I don't. I don't think it. I don't actually see it like that. So um, for it. <laughs> but if I had to choose, <laughs> what was your one again? <laughs> like you said, it. right? Yeah. How you have a lot of sad friends. Yes. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. I had a lot of Aquarius friends and we'd all break up for the same reason, like not be friends anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it would just be like these dumb stupid thing i'm a ride or die yeah, yeah, yeah and they would just be like no i'm gone out of your life or like <laughs> for no and i'll be like what and yeah, that, once that it's was... done it's done yeah asking for a friend mm. who's the most like sluttiest star sign for a girl <laughs> <laughs> for a friend they just ask me to ask you you're asking the right questions <laughs> that is a perfect question yeah, you're asking the right questions. for a girl yeah. what are the easiest ones like Crank. like sexually expressive yeah, in bed. the yeah, fire whatever. signs the fire signs i would Scorpio. say Scorpios are secretly, like, yeah. you know, but the fire signs are openly, if you want to... The fire signs so are like... Uh, so they can be. So, so like, what, so like Sag a... or um, okay. Aries, Aries in particular. Sag. So, step in a, a try and a step in... So, because we, we kind of briefly had this conversation on toxicity in relationships. Do you not feel as it, like, where the, the media, the way it's portrayed with these memes, toxicity is really being glamorised? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Because there's times where I catch myself. Like, you said touching away from the spirituality, but here I am no, going back to it. Not, but like, it's, it's, it's all consumerism. It's all like, everything we see is being programmed towards yeah. us. That's why it's called programs on TV or whatever. So say you take like a show, I'm not going to name a show, but like, you know, these like, these shows where... Love Island, yeah. Any kind of show where you're feeding that information into your brain mm. and you're taking in that knowledge as it is knowledge to you yeah. and you're consuming it, um, it becomes part of your like 
your vibrate like it, your life. It, it does. It you start to like pick up on it and be like, oh, I want to be that bad bitch. I want to be that girl. I want to mm. be that. Like you, you want to glamorize what you've seen because they've made you feel that it's glamorized by adding some music behind it and adding some cool editing yeah, yeah, yeah. and some shots where they look amazing, but it's all edited. So everyone thinks, wow, like, and then they did drugs and they're like, wow, but if I do drugs, it's going to be that glamorous. But meanwhile, you're in McDonald's cubicle toilets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that you? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> do you not like, prefer toxicity as well in a woman now? Well, back in the day, you used to want the... The housewife, stay at home, look after my kid. I could be wrong. I'm I, li- I like a bit of attitude. I like a yeah, bit of attitude. Yeah, yeah, I like, yeah, I like a little bit of attitude. I <laughs> like, like, give it give it to me. Like, I like that. It's kind of sexy in a weird way. Yeah. Mm. No, I like well, a bit of... You, you're like that, bit, that as well, no? I like it. I do. I find it attractive. But then at times I do find it a bit uh, unattractive when it's Yeah, just, it can like, definitely be a turn Because it can be well. forced sometimes yeah. as well. Where a girl doesn't have to behave like that. Yeah, it's like sometimes like, when it's unnecessary, yeah. like, it's just like in proportion, like, it's not Are you saying so basically much. if the girl's good looking, it's okay and if she's not, is that what you're not trying to say? No, I agree with that <laughs> point as well. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that point as well. <laughs> I started TikTok in like 2019. What? Was it 2019? Oh, shit. Or was it 2020? 2019. Oh, okay. oh, oh, um, oh Not this channel or like um, page, but I started one. And I did an acting scene. It was really bad. Like I wanted to do acting on TikTok yeah, yeah, yeah. because I was training in acting it's and it's something I'm okay. very pa- passionate about. And um, oh, cool. so it's acting, yeah. I didn't rapping, mention it, by the way. <laughs> you pointed at me. I didn't mention it. But since you did, <laughs> on, tell it, tell it I went to a thing called Rada. I don't know if you've you went Rada. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Do you know of it? Of course I know, Rada. Yeah, yeah. Royal Academy. Dramatic Arts. Dramatic Arts. Yeah. Why are you, why are you laughing? It's it's no, big up you. Big up you. Yeah, 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 big up you. And I, I went there when I was like 11. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 We, we, we talked your story about your TikTok. So you, Oh God, what, what was I talking about? About how you used to post clips. Oh my of... God, yeah. So I just yeah, did origins, little acting yeah. clips um, and one of them went viral. I think it hit like half a mil. Like at the time for my first ever TikTok, I was like, Amazing. raw. Like in 2019, I was like, raw. Like this is crazy. How many views this is? Like I just couldn't comprehend it and I was so excited. And I was with an ex at the time and he really didn't want me on social media. Because hey, oh. we were all spiritual and it was a whole thing. Oh, right, okay. The whole thing. I'm not going to go too much into that, but I gave up that. And then when we ended up um, breaking up and breaking it off, um, and I came back to London because that's when I was in Hawaii and stuff, I made a new TikTok. And what I noticed was the tarot reading that I just put out blew up. Okay. And I said, okay, so this is my niche. Because I understand that in order to build a following, um, and get people interested in you, like you have to provide what people want. Yeah. yeah. And then hopefully they'll like you as a person and you can show other parts of yourself, you know. So yeah. So then you started OnlyFans. So then I started <laughs> yeah, OnlyFans yeah. and this is the app. <laughs> I kind of want to talk about it, but I don't think you do. Did you you said you were married or you don't want to talk about that? Oh God. So how old were you when you got married? I was I was twenty one. I don't want to undermine it. Was he like spiritually married or proper like legal paper married? Legal paper okay, married. Cool. Oh, so you're Arab. <laughs> <laughs> what was the reason behind? Because obviously we were talking about after the like obviously before the show about your the tattoo. Um, yeah. three nine six. That's the first day I spoke to him. Oh, wow. The third of September, twenty sixteen, on okay. my ring finger. Yeah. So you and he up- got. Like yeah, the, the first day we yeah, met, yeah, yeah. which was three six nine. So yeah. those were like our numbers, and it was like an alignment thing, okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It was very spiritual. Put you lot on the spot. You both are in relationships. Yeah. Would you get a tattoo of your other half's name on your body? Could be big, small. Uh, not the whole name. No, definitely not. That's not the whole name. That's not the whole name. That's not the whole name. No, not the whole name. No, not the whole name. Maybe I might do like a little tribute, like as a something similar to what Dates she's done, like something like a date or or something. Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe something like that, but not a whole like no. If she, if she died, yeah. Oh swear! What, what I'm gonna just not remember her name in case you forget it. Right. So if she died, good forbid, then I'm like, yeah, fucking. Yeah, that's bro. fair enough. 
Yeah. She can never break her heart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, but I don't have to spend money on laser treatments to yeah, get it off. Yeah. You got a good reason as to why you had it there. Exactly, do you know what I'm saying? And I could have RIP because it not, looks cool. Yeah. I look like a gangster as well. And you're not like whipped. And you're going to say she died in a motorcycle accident or something like that. Yeah, whatever. Give it a good story. No, she drowned in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> So you said you went into like you went to Hawaii and, and yeah, I lived nature. in Hawaii. So What's Hawaii like? Insane. Why, Paradise. What was, yeah. What was what's so good about it? Like? It. Have you guys ever been to like a tropical island or like like the Caribbean or like yeah, any yeah. kind I've been of been Thailand? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You know yeah. when you get off the aeroplane and it's almost like you're floating. Like the air is just so pure. Humid. <laughs> <laughs> it's polluted. No. I like, what's the word? I felt that like off the boat. <laughs> when you get off the boat of an island to an island, I'm not sure about that airplane. That's the worst probably feeling ever. Yeah, like. airplane, you're getting the fucking engine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, engine, engine, no, yeah. like, you know, when you come out of the airplane, like the airport. Yeah. And you're in a new place. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, get you see palm trees. trees. And there's yeah. trees around. Yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah nice. you get a different like, feeling. Yeah. Like, wow. this is... In, like, yeah, 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 I yeah. thought I'd die. Like, like, the, like that yeah. on crack. That's how it felt. Yeah, like, it. it was just very high vibrating. And again, sounds hippie, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. feeling. Um, we were growing our own food and eating that from scratch. Like, fruit trees, um, vegetables, everything. I was vegan at the time. It was... Okay. It was very... very is it cheap out there? It is if you're growing your yeah. food. Yeah, it is if you, yeah, if you're, yeah, exactly. And that was the whole thing. And we're catching our own rainwater and filtering that. And that was in our shower. And it was just so cleansing and like healing yeah, yeah, yeah. as a being. What's mm. the working hours out there? I know it's a dumb, unnecessary question. But working hours for what? Like work life. You know, here it's known to be nine to five. Is it nine to five? So she there? worked on a farm. She didn't, so she didn't have. Yeah, I worked, I signed some NDAs. So I can't really talk about that. But oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so you were an assassin? <laughs> what the hell are you doing in Hawaii? They got to sign an NDA. <laughs> she can't talk about it. Was that a joke or not? I don't get it. No, no, I'm dead serious. And they for what? <laughs> my job. My job. My job. My job. Yeah. Were, yeah. So she. Let's just say I didn't work. Okay. Listen. Wait, no green card. This conversation card, didn't happen. <laughs> if, if you haven't already, yeah. Would you sell your soul? This whole time. I'm just as as honest as I've been this whole podcast. No, no, no. To be fair, I have... Ooh. Listen. Shit. That stuff is real. I'm going to say that. Yeah, yeah. I haven't done it. I've never felt called to do it. There was one time where I was really angry and I told my mom, I don't care anymore. If the devil wants my soul, he can have it. I just need an easy life because I was just stressed out by a lot of things. But yeah. then the next day I was like, no, please, I don't want to. No, 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 yeah, yeah, <laughs> please, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to sell myself, obviously. So there's um, no price on you selling your soul? <sighs> there is, actually. If it could bring comfortability, if it didn't hurt anyone else and I could sacrifice myself for other people, like who I really care about, I would. No. I think it's got think some that's exclusivity, how it exclusivity to it because not every Tom, Dick and Harry can go sell their soul. It, it, yeah, doesn't it doesn't work. Yeah, how, it doesn't work. Do you get invited or like because it's like like website, only website. like famous <laughs> guys? Emma's Teams link, like, <laughs> Zoom meeting. Like, yeah, I don't but know. Imagine one of us have actually sold our souls here. We've we got dead lives actually. That's not. <laughs> I wouldn't do it, but I wouldn't mind if someone I was with does it. So you can eat off. So I can eat off them. Yeah, I hear that. I but I was like, oh, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, me, like, I reckon when we're born, the devil asks us, do you want to sell your soul or no? Do you want to sell your soul To who? Not? Who does he ask? He asks the kid little baby. Because the baby can talk when they're in, in gaga gaga. I, I take it back. I'll never sell my soul. Not, not in the way like how <laughs> yeah, like I don't the... Up any how the, how the hell they naughty. do it? Yeah, nah. Um, no, 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 no. I don't want any of that. I was just saying like, I would sacrifice myself like... Like on people. the cross for other people, like what in that was, sense. What was the weirdest or maddest, like, sort of experience dealing with like magic and and things? Surely that story that you yeah, that around. that has to be the cake. Like, have, have you come way. across a little? Cake. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is there been like not a club, but has there been like a little social group that where other fellow spiritualists meet up? <laughs> Like <laughs> a or club, you, yeah. I don't know, like uh, the, the woods club, <laughs> <laughs> KKK meeting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bo- 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 exactly. <laughs> like no, um, I've met some other tarot readers on TikTok. 
and that's been super fun because they're cool people. Mm. Um, yeah. Not to talk about tarot just because we vibe as friends. Yeah. yeah. On that note, we've been trapped since ties. I've been Mr. BAK and Mr. B Spoke. Easy M um, slash M Easy. Mo Pali slash M E P. And we've had a very, very special guest, Madam Moon. Kyra Moon. Thank you. Kyra Moon. Moon. Thank, thank you. you very thank much. you. Thank you. Okay, I'm Kyra Moon. Um, if you vibe with me, then you can find me on TikTok, Kyra.moon. Yeah, that's basically it right now. Or uh, Kyra Moon Official on Instagram. And yeah, if you if you don't like me, it's okay. <laughs> you don't, you don't like have you. to. We'll put the links in the in the in the bio. Yeah, man. Bye. 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 Bye